Repetition in music is the same as repetition in prayer, especially if you don't really know what you're singing. For years, I've sang all the traditional Christmas carols, and I love every one of them. But today I want to talk about the one that's baffled me for years. And though I sang it, I never really knew the full meaning of it. My husband and a very good friend of ours traditionally sang this part of the song. Five golden rings. Now this has gone on for a long time. What in the world does leaping lords and French hens and swimming swans and a partridge in a pear tree all have to do with Christmas? Well, this week I found out. From 1558 until 1829, Roman Catholics in England were not permitted to practice their faith openly. Someone during that era wrote a carol to help teach the hearts of their young. It has two levels of meaning, the surface meaning and the hidden meaning, and this was only known by members in their church. Each element of the carol has a code word for a religious reality, which the children could remember. The partridge in the pear tree was Jesus Christ. Two turtle doves were the Old and New Testament. Three French hens stood for faith, hope, and love. The four calling birds were the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The five golden rings recalled the Torah, or law, the first five books of the Old Testament. The six geese laying stood for the six days of creation. Seven swans a-swimming represented the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit, prophecy, serving, teaching, exhortation, contribution, leadership, and mercy. The eight maids a-milking were the eight beatitudes. Nine ladies dancing were the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The ten lords a-leaping were the Ten Commandments. The eleven pipers piping stood for the eleven faithful disciples. The twelve drummers drumming symbolized the twelve points of the belief in the Apostles' Creed. Well, I hope that's been a little history lesson for you today. I know it was for me. Christmas is a wonderful time. It gives us the opportunity to tell the greatest story ever told. The opportunity to celebrate the greatest truth you'll ever hold. The greatest joy you've ever felt. The greatest hope for which you've knelt. The greatest peace the world has known. A Christmas gift for all to own. That's right. Salvation is a free gift. And all we have to do to receive it is accept it. For unto us, this day, a Savior is born. And his name is Jesus. This is Linda Lewis, sharing the joy of our Savior's birth and wishing you the most wonderful blessings this Christmas.